So if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know I'm a huge, huge fan of navy blazers. They just lend themselves to so many different occasions, different moods, different fits. And today I've got one by one of my most recent discoveries that everyone knows about and knew about but me. And that's P. Johnson from Australia. That's right, Australia. So I know a lot of the menswear heads will know about this and have known about it for a long time. And I'd heard the name creep up in a few places. So one of my favorite podcasts, Blamo, mentioned P. Johnson many times. I'd seen some images on Instagram and I was just kind of jealous of the sort of vibe and the photography that they were doing because that's the kind of photos I've wanted to take for a long time. And the whole mood, the whole aesthetic of it, I was so into it. But I'd never really seen these pieces. I hadn't really seen in Living in London, I'm not sure if it's that big of a well-known brand outside the sort of real menswear heads. So I really had to find a piece to go in the store. And after weeks of searching, I finally found this beautiful navy blazer to go in the store. And yeah, I am super tempted to keep it for myself, but I've made a pact that I'm not gonna get high on my own supply anymore. But yeah, this is in store now, and uh, it is a fantastic piece. So it's whilst it's whilst P. Johnson is an Australian brand, this is made in Italy. As you see, it's got beautiful soft shoulders, a really nice lapel. It's got this kind of rib texture to it. If you see there, I will try it on a little bit later, but uh, it's a little bit small for me. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off first of all, and also go through P. Johnson's. Uh, website because it's a sick website with some amazing lookbooks and I thought we'd just have a look anyone that's not sort of familiar with the brand might be able to get a bit more of an idea of what they're the vibe they're going for uh, it's super impressive and uh, yeah let's check out the website and I'll meet you around the back to talk more about this blazer so this is the website immediately you've got this striking image with some real so first of all it's like the, just the classic interior it's got like a Cecil Beatty vibe to it this photography um, and that the quite decadent housing uh, and around this guy in a suit. It's not really showing off the, the clothes that much, but that's what I kind of like about it. It's just really super interesting. Uh, as we go down, you can see a little bit more. Got to also remember, it's, as an Australian brand, their seasons are flipped compared to us in the UK. So they're going through their summer at the moment, I believe, or something like that. Um, so the clothes are sometimes summery in the winter, I don't know. Right, so they're really, so if we just, go, we'll just go through and just have a look to see what's going on. Oh, James Harvey Kelly. Oh, so he's the guy that does, he's the photographer, he does, he works with film photography, I believe, exclusively, but he does like Drake stuff and that is why it's good. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Really good photographer. So yeah, the evening wear is pretty sick. It's got a very... 70s y feel, or very, I think 70s is the right word. See, I see these like real pink lapels, keeping it soft in your shoulders. And then look at, check out this, very super strong shoulders. Almost like Edward Sexton y look to it. Right, so we'll click on male's, men's tailoring first. So yeah, a lot of a lot of inspiration from vint, like old Italian tailoring here. You can see it's not the trousers are often relatively loose with, with them high waisted, but quite loose for sort of like more modern for a modern brand. Look at that! The colour scheme here is just beautiful. So they do a lot of made to measure stuff. Let's go to their lookbooks because they're really the things that uh, I got drawn to initially. I think everyone's got so much, everyone's got like a really good tan. Right, so this is 2000, so this 2017 as well. So they're pretty ahead of their time in terms of their the actual tailoring, the shape, the silhouette of it. I'd wear all this stuff. And casual. This is this is a nice colour palette. That sort of tobacco tobacco trousers. That 
light blue, but quite, it's, it's not like a pastel blue, it's quite a rich light blue shirt. This is a look I really like. But yeah, like for 2017, it's quite a while ago and all of these looks are so wearable today. There's nothing really here I wouldn't wear. I like how they use older models. Look at that, that's a beautiful suit. Yeah, they're, they're playing, they're, they're like experimenting with colors and textures like this corduroy, and like a gray one and a green one. Damn, this is making me want to get a tux. All right, we won't go to women's. Do you know that tailoring? Look at this. Look, this has got JFK Jr. vibes to it. Very kind of 80s, 90s tailoring here. Look at that. Tobacco y sort of suit. I think the only things I would struggle to wear myself would be these colours, these this sort of light blue, this reddy maroony colour. And yeah, these these colours they're just a bit out there. They look great in photos and they probably look much more at home in Australia than they do in grim old London. But uh Either way, it's, I, I, I like them in any case. Oh, look at that blue velvet. Yeah, so any evening wear that's just that little bit more adventurous I'm into as well. I don't go to that many black tie events, but this is how I'd want to look. Let's go. What's the casual saying? 2020 November casual. Nice. They do a great job with models. Yeah, I really like there's uh, sort of like mid wash jeans, nicely high, high waisted. The, their styling's just great. Okay, I'm gonna have to be looking for some more pieces, I think, for this is all such good gear. Right, let's go to recent October tailoring. Yeah, they seem to have got a little bit um, more relaxed in their tailoring recently. You can see there's like some break around the trousers. The trousers are a lot looser than the previous years. Um, which is, for me and my body type, I find it's quite harder to wear. So I think I would, I would probably go for more of the older stuff, which is the great thing about buying pre-owned. This is cool, this jeans and double-breasted jacket look. Love the color, but yeah, I really like this, this kind of shirt, that color shirt. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do, October tailoring. Oof, strong. Banker vibes. Um, yeah, so again, like colours, I love the colour palettes. They're just so good. This, I would, I would wear this. I think this is a bit too light for me. I couldn't get away with it, especially in London. This is interesting. I like the, looks like a corduroy or like a Solario, whatever that word is. Peat, single breasted, forest green, possibly linen jacket. Nice. I 
a struggle in this outfit. Right, okay, so let's see. They're ready to wear men's tailoring. So as you can see, this uh, tux jacket is 1,200 Aussie dollars. It's the ready work to wear stuff. So, you know, it's not it's not cheap. It's not cheap stuff. Uh, it's amazing stuff. It's, I want all of it, uh, but it's, it certainly isn't cheap. But yeah, let's go back to this. I will try on for you. It's small for me. Okay, one sec. One sec. Okay, this is what it looks like on. It is small. It is a bit small for me. Um, but, and again, I wouldn't really pair it with this vest. But yeah, as you can see, very soft shoulders, very form hugging. Um, this is now in, in store for 250 pounds. So as you can see there, they had that touch jacket for about $1,200, which I don't have the estimation in my head. But 250 pounds for this blazer is amazing value for something that's really interesting and beautifully made. Uh, the ribbing, the texture does give it an interesting feel. Can you see that? Yeah. Working buttonholes. Um, any questions, let us know. It's hello at archimus.com. At archimus on the socials. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me grow the channel, grow the store, and everything else. And yeah, look forward to him for you. Cheers.